Thanks for staying with us. City of Tuane authorities and law enforcement agencies there are cutting off illegal electricity connections in parts of the city. This is power utilities take a huge strain due to the recent cold spell. Our reporter Barry Bateman joins us now live from our Pretoria studio for the latest update. Barry, thank you so much for joining us. This is certainly not the first time this has happened, but it does take on a different tone when it's taking place in the middle of winter. People living in informal settlements um, uh, cannot be happy with, with what's happened. And they certainly weren't, Marcel. This is a part of Nalmapius, uh, which uh, adjoins to Mamelodi in the east of Pretoria. Uh, we understand this particular area, they, the illegal connections, and I must just point out, this particular setup was not done by an amateur. They, they found distribution boxes. There was significant electrical networking equipment that was hauled up to the main power lines above ground uh, and connected and was distributed to the community. So the suggestion is potentially that there was corruption involved here. Uh, the equipment that was used, the cables that were used, it was a very serious operation. We're told that those were actually put up earlier this week and it cost uh, the community 5,000 rand to get the equipment installed. So the, the residents of this informal settlement they've spent that money uh, and just days later the city comes along and cuts it and removes it and takes it away uh, they aren't very happy their position is that they have been asking the municipality for the last four years to step in and uh, provide them with services uh, this is an area that is adjacent to a, 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 a formal uh, area which has all the services you'd expect electricity water uh, sewage and and you know toilets and the like um, but just across the road you've got this informal settle where people are living very in very difficult conditions the position of the people on the other side of the road now this is a community who do have the services I was speaking to an elderly lady there and she was quite glad what the city was doing she went as far as to say please call the red ants and take these people away and her concern was and this is echoed by others is that because of the illegal connections, there are regular trips and power outages in the area. It damages the electrical infrastructure, and it gets to the point that even appliances in their homes are being damaged. So you're looking at their fridges, freezers, televisions, and, and, and so on, uh, being damaged by the disruptions to the electricity network. So you've got a very difficult situation. You've got a community that desperately needs the services and are only getting it through illegal connections, but the other side, a community unhappy with the state of play. Unhappiness on both sides of that road by the sounds of it, but what's the municipality's response to those concerns? But the municipality has taken quite a hard position. They're saying that the electricity, these connections are being organized by uh, criminals and thugs was the language that was being used. Um, but they're saying, and I put the question to uh, the official that I was speaking to, I said, but the community complains that you're not providing the services that they've been asking for many years. The city's response was, well, these people come here and they take land illegally, they come and build their shacks illegally, and then they demand services. They say, the city says that we tell them that they need to go through a specific process. They need to, for example, register on the indigent program, which allows you certain allowances in terms of services, and there needs to be a formal process to legitimize or formalize the particular area where the people are living. The city says that this particular community is not doing that. Of course, this was rejected by the community members that I spoke to. And this is going to be an ongoing thing. The community is saying that after the city leaves and they take all this stuff, just give it a couple of days and everything's going to be set up and, and the connections are going to start again. So until there is a permanent solution that is brought in for this community, it appears that there's going to be unhappiness, as you've noted, on both sides of the road. Thank you so much, Barry Bateman, bringing us the very latest on a story that's all too familiar and those visuals that you brought us as well. You were right, a very, very serious operation, it seems, that um, so the City of Tuane authorities and law enforcement agencies uh, decided to go in and cut off um, uh, today. Thank you so much for that update.